I know firsthand how important it is to have access to a professional trainer. It is the only reason that I've been successful with my Belgian Malinois. If it weren't for Courtney Robbins at Global Canine Protection Services, I would have missed out on discovering the Belgian Malinois breed, and a hobby that I not only thoroughly enjoy, but that has literally become a full-time hobby and changed the trajectory of my life. I'm very lucky to have a trainer that makes herself available to me all hours of the day or night. But I also know that most of us simply aren't in that position. Many very legitimate obstacles can get in the way of you connecting with a trainer. It could be your work schedule. It could be financial obligations. It could be the simple geography of where you live. Maybe you don't have a good trainer in your area. This is why I absolutely love the community that Robert Cabral is building through his website, robertcabral.com. He has hours and hours of video lessons on everything from puppy basics for beginners all the way through advanced obedience work. But I recently discovered my favorite part of becoming a member. Every week, Robert sits down for live members-only Q&A, which means you have an opportunity to talk to Robert via the live chat with just a handful of other members. It's an incredible opportunity to capture his attention and get in-depth answers to your questions, something most people are paying over $100 an hour to do in person. So head over to robertcabral.com and use code MALLIGATORMOM to save 10% at checkout. And maybe I'll see you in the members only live chat. Um, okay, best way to correct a 10 month old puppy. This is for Sam, by the way, who is leash biting. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Malligator Mom. Today, the title of my video is How to Love a Belgian Malinois. I know that's kind of a strange title, but I actually think that it's going to make a lot of sense. So stay tuned and I'll explain exactly what I mean. A relationship with a Belgian Malinois isn't like a relationship with most other canines. These dogs really do have specific traits and characteristics that set them apart. So the same way I might show my love or affection to a French Bulldog or a Mastiff or a Terrier or a Chihuahua or whatever, right? Name any other dog. Is not, it is not the same way that I would show my love to a Belgian Malinois. This is just something a little different. So I kind of want to break down today what things you can do to show your love to a dog like a Belgian Malinois because their requirements are very, very different. So there are many, many dogs out there who simply require the basics. And by the basics, I mean, you know, do you feed them? Do you provide them with shelter, a soft bed? Do you take them to the vet when they're sick? Um, you know, do you take them for an evening walk after dinner? Do you maybe give them a special treat once in a while, right? Like these are the basics. And for most dogs out there in the world that are living with families, this is paradise. And you are literally the best thing about their life. A Malinois, however, has a brain that is hardwired a little differently. And um, there are just a lot of competing motivators in their mind that they have to deal with and that you as the owner or handler have to overcome and understand to be able to have a successful relationship with a Malinois. And the relationship that you build with your dog really begins by understanding the dog that you have, the dog that's in front of you. And traits and characteristics and genetics really do play the biggest role in determining those things. So a typical dog is happy with minimal interaction, minimal exercise, the basics being met, and they will be a happy, content, and fulfilled dog. And fulfillment is the key word here in today's video. Fulfillment is what I really want to talk about. So how do you love a Belgian Malinois? It begins with fulfillment. It begins with offering your dog a fulfilling relationship. And offering fulfillment to a Belgian Malinois is very, very different from offering fulfillment to your average typical house dog. <laughs> well, hello. Are you crashing the video? Now you made me lose my train of thought. You made me forget what I was talking about. Fulfillment, that's what we were talking about, okay. So the fulfillment that a Belgian Malinois requires is actually way, way, way more. There's way, way, way more that goes into that 
than there is with your average pet. So for example, that one walk a day or that special treat once in a while or that hours of cuddle time on the couch watching a movie could be all the fulfillment that your typical dog might need. But a Belgian Malinois, that's not gonna cut it. And you need to be prepared and you need to understand what that means up front. So I'm gonna break down some ways that I think offer fulfillment in a relationship with the Belgian Malinois and how I have found success through these specific things in building that relationship with my dogs. I think that they are pretty well balanced. I think that they live pretty happy and fulfilled lives. And um, I just wanna share what that is with you guys, what it is that I do, how I have accomplished that, and then maybe you can put it into practice with your dogs. You might think that all I do is train, train, train my dogs, and that's actually not true. I spend a lot of time just enjoying my dogs, and one of the ways that I do that is through a simple game of fetch. This is an underrated, often overlooked game that you can just do with your dog that's a great relationship builder. So I will come out here with my dogs, and whether it's all as a group or just one-on-one -on -one with some individual time, which is also really important, I just get out here and throw the ball. I just enjoy my dog. I don't ask him for anything. I don't ask for any obedience. We just enjoy our time together. offer your dog love and fulfillment is obedience. So your dog really does need to have obedience instilled in them right away. To give your dog a fulfilling life means that you can trust them and that they can trust you, that they're not wandering through the world confused as to what they're supposed to be. What are their boundaries? What are their limitations? What do you want from them? To live in that state of mind is really awful. So if you're not providing obedience, clear boundaries, clear limitations for your Malinois right from the beginning, then not only are they gonna be really, really naughty, but they're gonna live in a state of confusion. And that is not very fulfilling. One of the reasons that Riot here is so happy and content and fulfilled is because he has gone through this entire day with me today, knowing exactly what to expect. He knows what I want, when I want it. My communication is very clear to him and he's happy to provide that for me because I am his source of joy. I am the person who just went out and played fetch with him. I am the person who feeds him his kibble. I am the person who does bite work and, and lets him get bitey and crazy and, and fulfill his bite drive. You know, we have developed a relationship, but at the core of that relationship is this obedience. He's at play state right now. And this is something that I taught him from the time he was eight weeks old. It's a very clear communication to me when I say place, that that means I don't want you to do anything right now, but go to this bed and lay down. And that occupies his mind. And I can have peace of mind to go do the things I need to do, like pull out this camera and finish this video. And he's happy with that. And this mutually fulfilling relationship is really our love language. This is how we communicate with one another. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So this relationship, this, this love, this fulfillment, this happiness, this joy that he has in his heart, um, this, this stability that he offers me, this, this nice balance where I can take him out to the field and he knows that that's when he's allowed to just let it rip and be crazy. And then I can tell him to play stay and he'll come in here and offer me that obedience. You know, this, just this back and forth, this understanding, this relationship that we've built through obedience is, um, 
is priceless. It's, it's what makes him the dog that he is. So if you really love your dog, I hope that you love him enough to instill solid obedience in him so that he can be a part of your life every day. Another one I wanna to touch on is structure, which is a little bit different from obedience. So by structure, what I mean is that I provide Riot with a pretty structured day every day, which means that he gets up in the morning and he can pretty much anticipate what his day is gonna look like. He knows based on whatever situation I've presented him with, what he can expect and what he should probably do. I don't leave him in the dark. I don't leave him guessing. We've been through a lot together, a lot of scenarios. Scenarios from getting into the car to loading into a, a crate or a kennel, what time of day he goes in, what time of day he comes out, when he can expect to eat, when he ex can, can expect to have a potty break. This type of structure is really, really important for a Malinois. And it might not be as important for your other, you know, typical average house dog. But for a Malinois, structure is vital. It will really, really go a long way in improving your relationship. Yes, you are. Oh, there's my big boy. There's my big boy. You just don't have to go in there right now. Okay, you don't have to go in there right now. It was just for the video. It was just for the video. I said you right. I know. I won't. You don't have to go in there right now. You don't have to go in there right now. Ugh. You are. I need to brush you out again. So the biggest thing I want you guys to take away from this video today is to just remember that if you want to show a Belgian Malinois that you love them, that is going to come through treating them like a dog. I mean, that's just the end of it. You need to treat them like a dog, not like a human being, not like your baby, not like your niece or nephew, but like a dog. Because when you treat them like a dog, that's when they're really gonna flourish. That's when your relationship is really going to blossom because you have to have all of this boundary and limitation and obedience and training and fulfillment to make them happy, to, to offer them a fulfilling life. And, and after all, offering them fulfillment is how we show love. So just keep in mind that whatever dog you might have, um, whatever their drives might be. You know, Riot's not the driviest when it comes to bite work, but Fury is, right? So I do a lot more bite training with Fury than I do with Riot. Riot loves the ball. He's super ball motivated. So I do a lot of things with the ball with him. Just remember, whatever dog you have in front of you, you need to find, it is your responsibility to figure out what fulfills them and fulfill whatever drive they have to offer them that life, that fulfilling, perfect, wonderful life that we all want our canines to experience. You know, they're with us for such a short time and it really is our responsibility to make sure that we're just doing the very best we can. And of course, give them all the hugs and snuggles and kisses that you possibly can.